Welcome to the Toro University California School of Nursing. In this short video we are going to go over the specific settings and notifications that the School of Nursing expects of all of its students. So as you can see I am in my dashboard here so I have logged into Canvas and all of my courses are listed here. The to-do list and all of my upcoming items are over here on the right hand side. Now over here on the left hand side are the different menu items that are available to me. The first one I want to point out is the one here at the bottom entitled help. If I click on that you'll see that you have access to a toll free number here as well as a live chat feature and I want to point those two items out before we get started to let you know that if you ever run into any problems with Canvas those two services are available to you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year. So if there's something that you're trying to do in Canvas that isn't working, these are the two best ways to get support for that or to get help for that. If it's a content or instructional based item, you want to contact your uh, professor. But if it is a Canvas issue, these are the two best ways to get help. So once you've logged into Canvas, the first thing that you want to do is go in and set up your account. And the way in which you would do that is you would click on the account item up here on the top left hand side. Uh, right now it would be a gray silhouette in place of a picture here and the word account will be there. And when you click on that, you'll see that you get these five options. The first thing you want to do is to click on the profile option and it will allow you to edit your profile so if you want to say anything about yourself you can add that in here but what the school of nursing would like you to do is to upload a profile picture and the way in which you would do that is when you scroll over the silhouette you will see that this pencil icon appears and when I click on that pencil icon it allows me to either upload a picture or if you've got a webcam on your device you can take a picture uh, either of those things will allow you to essentially add your picture there and you can do either of those two and once you're finished click on save and then your picture would appear here. The second thing that you want to do is you want to go to the settings option. And once you're at the settings option there are a couple of things that you would like to change. The first thing is you'll notice by default your time zone is going to be set to the Eastern Time Zone. The first thing I'm going to want to do here is over here on the right hand side you'll see there's an edit settings option. And I can edit my settings to change that to the Pacific Time Zone. And then click save or update settings and you'll see that now my time zone is set to Pacific Time. The second thing that you want to do is down here under registered services and other services you'll see that Google Drive is listed as one of the other services. You want to click on this Google Drive option and authorize Google Drive access. Now it'll ask you what account that you want to use and you want to select the one that's associated with your Toro University student account. So it'll probably say your first name period your surname at tu.edu and once you do that it will connect your account so that and it'll ask you if you want to allow it and once you do that then it essentially allows Canvas to see your Google Drive as if it was any other drive on the system and if it's done successfully the Google Drive icon will move from the other services over here to registered services because I'm just doing this within a test environment that did not happen for me but in your case this icon here will move over to the left hand side. Um, this is going to be useful for you if you use the Google tools to complete assignments so if you use Google Docs or uh, Google Sheets or Google Slides or Google Presentation, sorry, to complete any assignments because it'll upload those documents directly into Canvas so you don't have to just share access to a live document. 
Now, the third thing you want to do is over here you'll see on the top right hand side that there's an email address listed and in your case it will be your at tu.edu or at student.toro.edu but it will be your official Toro email address. If you have an email address that is something other than your Toro email address that you check on a more frequent basis you should add that email address here. So what you want to do is this plus email address sign here. If you click on that, it'll ask you for the email address. In this case, I'm going to add my personal email because I check that more frequently than I check my Toro. And I'm going to click register email. And it will tell me that it has sent a confirmation to my inbox. So if I were to go to my inbox now, there would be an email there from Canvas that says you've just added your can this particular email address to your Canvas account. Is that okay? And there will be a link to click on. When you click on that link, it will confirm it. If you don't get the message, you can always resend the confirmation. In this case, I'm going to assume I got the message and I'm going to say, okay, thanks. And you can see that it appears up here now along with my other email addresses. So the other thing that I'm going to want to do up here, you'll see that there's this other contacts option. What that will allow you to do is if you click on the plus contact method, it will allow you to put in your cell phone number. So in my case, I'm going to put in my cell phone number here and I'm going to select my carrier and by doing that it will automatically generate a email here for me and when I click register SMS I'm going to get a code that gets texted to my cell phone and as soon as that text comes through I would put that text in that code in here and again because this is a fake environment a test environment um, the code didn't come through, so I'm just going to make one up here. And I'm going to click Confirm. And assuming that I've done that correctly, after clicking Confirm, it'll say that it was successful. And you'll see that my cell phone number is here so that the system can text me. So those are the four things that you want to do on the settings. Now the third area that you're going to go to is you're going to click on the notifications option. Now what the notifications option is, is it essentially allows you to go in and change how you're going to be notified, where you're going to be notified, and how frequently you're going to be notified about things. Um, and by things I mean every aspect of Canvas that will allow you to be notified that something has changed or something has happened. Over here on the left hand side you'll see a bunch of different functions within Canvas and if I scroll over each of these you'll see this other box pops up that tells me what essentially that means. So the invitation as an example Canvas will notify me if I've been invited to a web conference or invited to a group or invited into a collaboration or if I've been invited to peer review something. So if any of those things are things that your instructor is using, that might be something that you wish to be notified about. You'll see that Canvas by default has certain things that it will notify you about. Um, so you can see here in this middle icon uh, or this middle list, uh, the one here that has the toro.edu email address. There are some things that it will notify you about and some things it won't notify you about just by default. So when you click on this page for your at tu.edu or your at student.toro.edu address, you already have certain things selected. So there are specific things that the School of Nursing is going to expect that you've got selected. So each of your faculty members, each of your instructors are working on the premise that you've set your account up like this and 
they will act as if you are receiving the notifications for these things. So the specific ones that they have, when it comes to changes in course content, they want both your Toro email address plus whatever personal email address. They want you to be notified immediately about changes in course content. So what you're going to do is for the line that has course content, you're going to make sure you've got a check mark in green by each of those items. So the green check mark means notify me right away. For announcements, they want you to have a green check mark by the texting option as well as a green check mark by both of your email addresses. So your Toro email address and your personal or work email address, whatever other one you put in there. For due dates, they are going to want you to have a check mark by both of your email addresses. As I scroll down here a little bit further, in the conversations area, both added to conversation and conversation message, they want to make sure that you've got check marks by both of your email addresses that you're using. So those are the five specific ones. All of the rest of them you can go through and take a look at on your own to determine whether or not you want to be notified about things. So as an example, the School of Nursing has no official position on whether or not you are notified about a change in grade. But that may be something that you want to be notified about. You can look to see, you know, do I want to be notified about it right away? Do I want to be notified about it at the end of the day where I get a notification that tells me about all of the changes that have been made on that particular topic? And that's this clock looking icon. Or do I want a notification at the end of the week that tells me everything that's happened? For example, you may want a weekly summary of all of the discussion posts that have been posted in your course. And email would be a good way of getting that. And it might be uh, that you want it to go to your Toro email address and not your personal email address. And that would be the calendar looking icon. Finally, if there's an X by thing, so if you've got that X that's in green, that means that you're not being notified about that item through that particular medium. So as you're looking at this again, the five that the School of Nursing has specific policies on, the due date should have a check mark by both your Toro email address and your personal email address. The course content should have a check mark by your Toro email address and your personal email address. Announcements should have a check mark by your Toro email address, your personal email address, and your cell number. And then as I scroll down here further to the bottom, the added to conversations and conversation message should both have a check mark next to your Toro email address and your personal email address. All of the other items here are entirely up to you in terms of how you want to be notified, whether you want to be notified, and how frequently you want to be notified. So that's been a quick little video that goes through and describes to you exactly how the settings in your account and the notifications for your account should be set up based upon the expectations of the School of Nursing here at Toro University, California.